Hello everybody, Infernape Shinjo here, and welcome back to Let's Talk Anime, episode 24. <laughs> what was that? Anyway, as I was saying, Let's Talk Anime, episode 24. Okay, seriously? Alright, fine, have it your way. Today, I'm going to be discussing three topics that you guys have sent me, so without further ado, let's get into it. The first topic is Mega Man X OVA, The Day of Sigma. Now this is an interesting one because since it's an OVA, this is one of the first anime that I've watched that I've discussed on this channel that I've actually watched all the way through since it's only one episode that's less than a half hour long. And first off, let me just say it is a really entertaining watch. First, I must say that the voice actors and actresses are very good. Honestly, it's on the levels of 4 kids nostalgia voice actors for me, personally. I really like the way that they handled death in a weird sense. Since all the characters in this are robots, then you could just cut off body parts or legs and not have to worry because they're robots and it's still child friendly to an extent. Moreover, I really like the Dr. Light cameo. I cannot tell you exactly when it happened other than the fact that it happened because I wrote it down. Because for someone like me, and especially my brother, I remember that he's a huge fan of the 90s Mega Man series. So the fact that Dr. Light makes a cameo, one of the very few things that I remember from the Mega Man series, that's really cool. The thing I found interesting, and spoilers before I go any further, although since it's only a half hour show, it's not that hard to watch it, I was really surprised that the evil side came out on top. And it honestly made me feel like it's some sort of OVA that was made just to tie into a Mega Man game where everything's gone terrible. Now the things that I didn't personally like is first, the lip flaps don't exactly match up sometimes. But that's not really that huge of an issue because with a lot of dubs, that tends to be more or less a common thing. Now the other thing, and this is just for me personally, the whole plot twist with Commander Sigma being the villain all along was almost done perfectly. Considering that they built him up this whole time from the start of it, it was almost great until he broke Vile out. As soon as I saw that shadow, I thought, that's Commander Sigma. I know it is. Now, that might be just me just expecting too much from something, but considering that it's only one episode in OVA, I shouldn't really expect too much. But overall, outside of those things, it was done really good, and I really enjoyed it. Now, the next topic in today's video is Shakugan? No Shauna? I think that's how it's pronounced. Now with this one, I'm kind of hesitant to even start talking about it because I checked the YouTube comments when I was watching a video that was basically just the opening and I saw a lot of people saying, this anime is my childhood, the first anime that I watched. So I'm kind of scared to say anything bad or good about it, honestly. But, since this is Let's Talk Anime, I might as well talk about it, otherwise there's no point to the series. First of all, I like the old anime kind of charm that it has to it, which makes sense because it's an older anime. But I like that sort of art style that's kind of old, maybe like early 2000s I would say, which is probably pretty accurate. But, you know what I mean, it's got that whole old anime charm from those anime that used to be on Toonami back in the day. Second thing I liked is it was a very interesting story starting from episode 1. Now here's the part that I know that I'm going to get a lot of flack for. The things that I didn't like about it. First of all, it takes a little bit to get the plot started. I know that they're probably trying to set up the world, 
but it took a little bit longer than I would have liked for it to get started. Especially since they show the scene of him getting sliced twice. And this is only in like two episodes. Now I like the idea of the torches, but that and everything else is repeated so much that it's almost drilled into your head. Now, not necessarily going to say that's a bad thing, because on the other side, if they don't explain it at all, then I wouldn't like that either. So, I would have preferred if it was more down the middle, where they explain it, but don't over explain it. And the third thing, which this might be just me personally, I found Shauna an interesting character. And that in a good and a bad sense. The example that I wrote down is when it's nighttime in episode 2, she bashes Yuji for following her home. Yet the next morning, she's there right outside of his home to keep close to him. And I'm sure that she has some sort of ulterior motives for why she's tagging along with Yuji, but it just seems a bit hypocritical that she's berating him for following her home one night, and then the next day she's right there, and it, it just seems kind of weird to me. I'm not sure. It's okay. Take your time. Take your time. Honestly, this is one of those series that I'm torn on because most of the time when I discuss something in Let's Talk Anime, it's either that I really liked it and I continue watching it or I really didn't like it and I'm not going to continue watching it. But with Shakugan no Shauna, it's very interesting as a concept, but I'm not sure if I'm going to continue watching it. If any one of you has watched the whole thing through, let me know what you think about it because I'm wondering if any of my real complaints that I have ever get resolved or if there's a reason for why Shauna seems a bit hypocritical in that one scene. Let me know what you think. But until then, the final topic for today is Jump Force. Now if I have everything correct, this video should be out before this game comes out because I have a tab open right here and it will be out in February of 2019. So if this video isn't out by that time, we're going to have some problems. But in case you aren't aware, I will fill you in on what Jump Force is. Luckily, since I have a tab open, I can basically explain what it is when the real world collides with shonen jump universes many of their heroes form the jump force to fight against whoever is causing this phenomenon so more or less it's super smash brothers but more anime actually one thing that i didn't know is it says here jump force is a three-on-three -three tag team fighting game featuring characters from from various manga I didn't know it was three on three. I guess that makes sense. But I don't know. At first I thought it would just be one on one. Guess I learned something new every day. So yeah, if you don't know what Jump Force is, it's basically Super Smash Brothers, the anime. And the things I like about it, first of all, is it's cool that there's a game that brings all these anime characters together. Smash Brothers kind of does that because Pokemon's there. But Pokemon's especially known in Smash Brothers, and I think that's really the only anime property, if you want to call it that. I know Sonic had an anime as well, and Kirby had an anime, but this is far more for hardcore anime fans. And just from me personally, I think that the art transitions for all these characters works so well. Like, just looking at this poster, I really like how all three characters look. Just me personally. It kind of reminds me of the transition from all the Pokemon in the new Detective Pikachu movie coming out. 
Now, before I get to my cons, let me just go over the list on a couple of characters that are in this. Which, this is actually funny because I had to redo my notes because of a few later entries that were put in. So, our stuff from Black Clover is here. Of course, from Dragon Ball we have Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, Piccolo, Frieza, and Cell. And actually, the main reason that somebody wanted me to talk about this is Yugi Moto or Yami Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! in this game. Out of anybody you could pick, you go with the Pharaoh. Not that I'm saying that's a problem, but it's just like when you have characters like Asta that has a sword or Goku that can go Super Saiyan, you have Yugi fighting with Slifer the Sky Dragon. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I'm very glad that they have Yu-Gi-Oh! representation in this. And I'm 95% sure about this in Hunter x Hunter. The, one of the characters is Gone Freaks. And I'm assuming that that's the main character. Honestly, for a lot of these... I would be surprised if the main character isn't here. Like, we got Goku from Dragon Ball, Asta from Black Clover, Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! And the main reason that I had to redo my notes is because Izuku Midoriya, Deku from My Hero Academia, is in this game. And I remember one of the notes that I wrote is that I was upset that they didn't have any My Hero Academia representation or even Vegeta. I'm not sure when Vegeta got released, but apparently at the time I was writing my notes, him or Deku weren't in the game. So I am super happy that Deku's in the game. Because if you're going to have a game about people beating each other up, you gotta have some characters from My Hero Academia. Which actually is making me wonder, are they planning on releasing anybody else from My Hero Academia? Because I got a poster right here on my wall, and I can think of a couple good candidates. Bakugo, Todoroki, honestly, just, in, just throw All Might in there as well. We already have Goku, so why not? And honestly, you can include a couple more characters from Yu-Gi-Oh as well. You got Yugi in here, why not include Kaiba? Now, since Deku and Vegeta are both in the game now, the only con that I have at the current time is that some characters might be picked more frequently than others. Like, for example, just from the current roster that I have right here, just briefly going over a few, Asta from Black Clover, Goku from Dragon Ball, Luffy from One Piece, Deku from My Hero Academia, Naruto from Naruto. Who would be the more likely ones to be picked? Obviously characters like Goku, Luffy, and Naruto because they're a lot more iconic because they've been around longer. And actually, let me see... No, the only ones from Naruto are Naruto and Sasuke. Because I was wondering, it would be interesting if they incorporated characters from Boruto as well. I'm not up to date on it, but it would be interesting if they had like Naruto versus Boruto, for example. That would be kind of an interesting thing. But of course, my knowledge on this is very limited because there is very little that I know about manga. But this is a very cool idea regardless, and I am on board for it. And in case you were wondering, this game is going to be out for Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So, I only have one of those. Actually, I didn't know this. That it's celebrating the magazine's 50th anniversary. I didn't actually know that. That's kind of cool. But I'm totally on board for this game. Honestly, I wish that I could play it myself. But the only way that I can is through Windows. And... My laptop can barely hold anything anyway, so unless I just get another laptop dedicated to games, which can't really do at the moment because I want to save my money, but I don't know. We'll see what happens when the time comes. Maybe I'll be able to play it. Maybe I won't be able to play it. If I do, that's fine. If I watch somebody play it, that's fine too. But that is going to do it for today's episode, and I hope that you enjoyed.
Again, this is the second video that I've recorded after not recording for a while. So I hope that things sound roughly okay. And I hope that I get my point across with a couple of these. But if you enjoyed, do not forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. Like I said in the last video, if you have any suggestions for Let's Talk Anime, leave them in the comment section. I think I only have a few more suggestions for Let's Talk Anime. So if there's anything that you want me to discuss that I haven't given my thoughts on already, I'll be more than happy to discuss them, even if I've already discussed them in a previous video or a future video. But that is going to do it for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Momentai.